Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Silent Survival, episode 21. If you guys do not know where we are at right now, kindly go back and watch the last episode. It's actually a really fun one. I had a lot of fun uh, recording that until like the last three minutes and then I just kind of, I just kind of raged. <laughs> not really, I was just kind of sad. Even thinking about it now, I'm just getting all teary eyed. <laughs> so we built up this whole entire thing. Um, even removed an ocean monument that is here. I should get out of here. That's dangerous. And then apparently just face plant into a piston. That's fine. I can deal with that. I have a helmet on, um, clearly. So, actually it's a potato, but we won't talk about that. So yeah, we built up this entire thing last episode. And then one single update to try and fix observers. Kind of broke all of these flying machines. Well, the flying machines are actually over here, but still broke the flying machines so yeah i was just kind of done with minecraft I actually haven't played for a couple days haven't recorded yeah basically just took a couple days off watched a whole bunch of movies actually watched captain america civil war rogue one uh, x-men apocalypse x-men first class yeah finally caught up on some movies anyway i don't want to be here over here anymore i'll worry about this project in a couple weeks when they release the next bug fix update and actually make it so that we can actually properly drain the ocean monument. Ah, uh, that's a whole pain. Anyway, this episode I would like to... I just realized I don't have game sound. There we go, all, all, all better. <laughs> so, I would like to uh, work on our base, the lower base area. We kind of did it um, a couple episodes ago. We got some trees up there. Most of you probably haven't seen that episode, but I would like to make a blacksmith today. There's several reasons for that. Um, I'll show you guys where we're going to be building it. Uh, several reasons. Um, one, I have a lot of diamond gear from all the end city raiding that I've done, and I need a place to store it. And two, um, I have a special project in mind that all of you will get to take part of, which is very cool. Um, I would need to do some stuff with villagers and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're going to be building a blacksmith right here in this area as far as I know. Um, I haven't really done too much planning, but I know that we're gonna have three rooms um, pretty much in these areas. And one of them, the first one is gonna be a blacksmith and then we'll have like a brewer and then something else. I don't know, we'll figure that out. All right, so this is the room that we are gonna be turning into the blacksmith. I think that this is a pretty appropriate size. Um, 5, 10, 11, 13 wide. Yes, I don't know how to do math. <laughs> but yeah, 13 wide. I'm not sure how long. Probably about 13 long as well. So, and here we're going to have a giant forge. And then we're going to have storage on the sides. We're going to have, like, one of the pools of water that you dip the hot swords in. And, like, a press thing. I don't know exactly uh, what I'm doing. But we're going to figure it out. And it's going to look amazing. Hopefully so um, Yes, the project that I have in mind for You guys is Having a double chest of every kind of uh, diamond thing so like a double chest of diamond pickaxes Double chest of diamond swords chest plates shovels axes all those good things and then renaming each of those to one of your guys's names I think that that would be pretty fun and it'd just be randomly selected from the comments of each video. Maybe we do one each video. This is already um, completely off. I'm sure those of you who are better at Minecraft than me immediately notice that. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. That'll fix it. So yeah, we would have basically a bunch of tools and armor named after you guys, and I think that that would be pretty cool. So whenever I die, I have uh, backup gear that I can use and... Um, it would be named after you, so you'd be basically getting a shout out every time I go to use my weapon, or my sword, or my pickaxe, or my whatever you, uh, whatever it is. So also I didn't show you guys the uh, materials that we have for this. Basically we're going to make it look evil, that's what I'm going like, nether brick, we got magma blocks, uh, all these darker blocks here, we got coal blocks, red glass, lava, uh, cauldrons, obsidian, blah blah blah, you guys can easily see that i don't know why i'm reading it all off but anyway yeah so i've never really built a fireplace before um and this isn't just any fireplace this is a forge or hell forge it's probably gonna end up tearing this down and rebuilding it like seven eight forty times 
um, before I find something that I'm happy with. But just to give you guys a general idea of the main like forge thing, we'd have this and then maybe some iron bars in front of it. And yeah, this uh, episode's gonna be pretty on camera. And I'd like to have this out by tomorrow. Of course, my schedule is not set in stone. Um, if it were set in stone, I would have broken that stone like a thousand times already. I've missed so many videos lately. I'm sorry about it. Um, internet, again, is still very, very bad. One megabyte per, per second upload speeds. <laughs> yeah, that does not make it easy to do anything as a content creator. Alrighty, so I added some things to the side right here. Just little uh, slab and then stair and then fence post. That's something that I've been doing a lot um, when I've been building the realm. Eh, spoilers, can't go there. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't know, I'm making a public free-to-play on realm server for you guys all to play on. That's, I'm currently working on that with quite a few other people and we're getting a lot done um, just as, as a bit of progress update to that. Um, it should be done hopefully um, mid-October. We are pushing it back because we're slow, or rather I'm slow. I can't have the world up all the time um, for them to work on or for me to work on even uh, because I'm always doing something. Anyway, that does not matter. So we're gonna have some lava, some fire, I'm not sure why I grabbed netherrack, seeing as how fire spreads is always off on this world. Um, that's something that I always like to have off on all of my worlds. Um, it's just fire can be very, very dangerous for any of your builds. Even though I don't build out of wood all the time, or even that often, um, still a very good thing to have off. So, lava, fire, I don't know. I think, I think we should have one out in the center, um, kind of like that. That would be a little bit better, I think. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right. Um, we can add some more slabs and stairs up here if I can figure out my blocks. And I guess just some like that. Some stairs there. Where do my slabs go? And put them like that. And there we go. That looks a little bit better. We can do some more on the front here even. And actually, you know what? I want those to be, I want those to be upside down stairs. Um, obviously, we're not going to build this entire room out of... Uh, out of, um, what do you call this, nether, nether brick, because that would look very dark. Um, mostly just the forge is going to be out of this. This looks kind of oddly wide for how uh, deep it is. I don't know, maybe we should push it back more. Not sure how to do that, though. Hmm. Strange. I don't know, i have to think about this some more. All right, so I decided we're kind of going to bring the room forward in these corners just to make it look like the forge is uh, kind of pushed back. So we're going to have some pillars... Um, or something, probably just the wall be like right there, just cut off that entire corner back there. Um, that might be some redstone or some storage or something, I'm not entirely sure. Did I just see a creeper over here? I've been doing that a lot lately. Whenever I see something green out of the corner of my screen, um, I just think it's a creeper. You can never be too sure. can never be too sure in this game. Um, also, I'm going to need some more stone brick stairs. Um, real quick, so let me craft up a few of these, and now I just want to get the floor in. So we're going to be using uh, furnaces, stone brick stairs, and I think chiseled. Oh god, did it just use my chiseled? No. I've done that so many times, because you can actually use uh, chiseled stone bricks to craft uh, stone brick stairs. I've done that so many times, it's super annoying. So I think the design that I want to go for is... Um, stairs like this, and then in the center, a fern eye, because that's a nice, uh, texture right there with the border and stuff, I like it. And then, not, not that, I think, chiseled in the corners here. God, I cannot place blocks, why is it so difficult? You, I don't know, my player is blocking it or something. Okay, actually, I kind of want to replace these chiseled stone bricks with andesite. Um, that was my original idea, I don't know why I grabbed these ones. I um, kind of went off a tangent with those, but andesite I think would look better. Let's throw those back in there. Grab some andesite. I have a butt ton of andesite. Um, there we go. So throw that in there. And that looks slightly off. Is that off? I don't think so. I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks once I get the whole floor in. But real quick, I want to talk to you guys about the videos that I've been making recently. If you've been watching my channel for like tutorials and stuff, um, you may have noticed a supreme lack thereof of tutorials um yeah and that is because i'm not actually gonna make um tutorials at least redstone tutorials or anything um until better together comes out i have no idea what's happening 
with the redstone and better together mojang hasn't said anything everyone's upset that they're changing redstone to the pocket style pocket edition style except pocket edition players because they're used to it i'm sorry guys don't don't get used to it it's bad <laughs> but yeah i don't want to make any redstone tutorials or anything technical um, until that update comes out because anything that i release will just be instantly uh just be instantly useless and broken and not worth anyone's time and not worth my time to produce even though it might get views it might get subscribers you guys will probably like it but even if they change redstone in the next update um, you're gonna have to transfer over and that build will be broken and yes you basically do have to play better together once it comes out because the Xbox One edition of Minecraft will no longer be updated or supported after better together comes out um, which a lot of people don't know which is a very deciding factor in what I'm doing so yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more su silent survival, we're going to be doing a lot more not uh, technical videos, and there's basically the lowdown on that. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to do tutorials. I actually uh, made a tutorial um, for a redstone item counter, and just did not release it because I... Oh, there is a skeleton. I was like, where did that arrow come from? Um, yeah, so I made a tutorial. And then I realized, oh wait, they're changing redstone. I'm just not going to bother releasing it. There is no point. Um, so yeah, sorry guys. I know that that's a letdown and a drag, and it really is. Um, it's terrible. Um, yeah, sorry. That's about all I can say about it, um, is that I'm sorry. And that I will be releasing tutorials again um, once we get the full edition of, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Better Together. Anyway, there's the full lowdown on that. I'm pretty sure, I, yeah, I just built this wrong. Um, let's see how this looks real quick, because we did just build the entire floor minus these two stone bricks. And minus these blocks right here. Okay, so we definitely need some lighting in here, and I think we need something else as well. Now, this is nice depth. I don't know, maybe we will switch around these stairs um, kind of like that. You know what, that might actually look better. Alrighty, sorry about blabbing on so much. <laughs> so I did finish up the floor and actually I switched up the design. You may not notice that at first, but um, these two sides are actually different. And you know what, looking at it, I think that this side looks a little bit better. Um, basically we have um, no two by two of uh, polished andesite. It switches over, there's like a borderline and then another borderline that lines up a bit better. So I'm gonna switch the rest of the floor over to this basically tear up all of this stuff and then we can get to work on the rest of the forge which should be pretty cool i don't i'm not entirely sure what to build next but we will figure it out it appears we have a bit of a problem i cannot make these guys sit that is an excellent bug so i guess now we have three four dogs falling well whatever i guess we're just gonna have to live with it are they actually okay now they're sitting Minecraft is weird, I swear. Every day, super weird. And you just know that that dog is definitely, no matter what, going to teleport into that lava. It happens every single time. Anytime that there's a dog around any form of lava, that dog ends up inside that lava. Same thing with bats. They have excellent teleportation AI. Just putting that out there, you know, just, just a thing that happens. Uh, in the game that we uh, seem to call Minecraft. Just mobs just love to teleport into lava. Anyway, trying to build while talking about random things dying. Um, not ending up well for me. I wanted to have a nice little archway right here. Why can I not mind that? Thank you. Can you please just sit down or go away? Ah, I don't want to kill him. I really don't. I've had him since, since day one, I think. Um, so I would like to not have to kill the dog because of a bug. I've killed enough things because of bugs in the past. Okay, that just got dark. <laughs> so, um, let's see, what do we do on the other side here? So we wanna have this like that, and then I guess just stairs, and then, and then we should bring that up by a block, maybe put some cobblestone wall there, and actually, that doesn't look super duper cringe. What does look cringe is the granite right here. So we'll just, uh, we'll just calmly get rid of that 
So there we go. This definitely needs some different textures. Um, I don't know. I, I want to say andesite. Um, that is like my go-to different texture block. I'm not doing ruined down here, um, as you can probably tell um, from our build style real quick. I'm not entirely sure of my build style, but I know I want to have an archway, and I know I want to go evil in here. Not sure the walls, not sure anything else that we're doing here. We're figuring out as we go, basically, um, is what I'm telling you guys right now. So what we might do is um, actually do another stair. And can you please just get out of here? God, I might end up killing the dog. We'll see. Where's my stone slabs? I want stone slabs right here. We might do something like that. I don't know. That looks a bit weird. Um, how about we move the slab upwards? You know, that might not look bad. Hey, look at that. The dog, never mind. I thought he left. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. I definitely want to remove a couple of these leaves. And yeah, now let's start on the walls. So I have a whole bunch of uh, dark, darker colored blocks. I got black concrete, obsidian, gray concrete, black concrete powder, and coal blocks. And I think that that might be good for the walls. Again, I want it to be very dark and uh, hellish in here, as it is a hellforge. So not entirely sure how to do this, though. I know I want to have some lava dripping from the walls because um, that just seems absolutely right. Um, you can't have a hell forge without some lava, and just inside the forge is not enough for me. So, what we might do is kind of speckle the walls. It's going to be very, very dark with this, uh, with this concrete. But if we just do a bit of something like this, um, really fill this in. This is going to get really dark really fast. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to build this up. So, I may have just hit one of my dogs that was following me around, and, uh... It may have just turned into a wolf. May have. And did this guy just sit? Okay, I'm not going to bother with him. Yeah, so... Either that's a bug, or a wolf spawned down here and was just randomly following me around like a normal dog. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Strange. It's all broken. It's just all broken. Don't worry about it. So the all black wall, yeah, that's not really going to work out. Um, it might work out in some circumstances, but I am just not good enough at building to really pull that off. So we're just going to abandon that idea. All right. So as for where our armor stands are going to go, they're going to go right here. And I think we're going to angle them like that because that always looks nice. And I'm not entirely sure what to do with this whole area, but I think a double chest right here would be good for our armor and stuff. And then maybe some slabs and then maybe stairs. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I have this mental image, but I, it, you know, it's always hard to get things to turn out how you want them in Minecraft. Um, it being made out of meter by meter by meter blocks, <laughs> or I guess cubic meter, that's a thing that I could have said too. So that doesn't look terrible. I need something to put here, maybe some banners. Actually, you know what? That might be cool. Get some banners right there. So... Uh, I'm going to build up one of these on the other side. I don't want to have uh, like four, like how I had this kind of set up because there is a cap of 15 armor stands on console. 15! Not even a full stack of armor stands. Um, armor stands stack in 16. We, that's ridiculous. Come, come on. Like seriously, 15. All right, both sides are now up, and I also added some iron bars. I think that that looks pretty nice. I also switched out the andesite that was here for magma blocks. I don't know. I just think that that looks nice. As soon as we throw some shiny diamond armor on that, it's going to look uh, beautiful. It's going to pop. And also, I got some area for some chests right here for actual real storage of where we're going to be storing all of the items that are going to be renamed after you guys. I'm actually really excited about renaming all that because... Um, it's a very cool project. Now, in these corners, um, I would like to have lava dripping down. You can see that I popped out a block up there for that. But I would like it to not be, like, just a single, um, like, column like that one is. So what we're going to do is place a block, I guess, just right here. And then let that lava flow down. It should go down and then go that way and then also go that way. Um, I guess we'll see if that's a thing that happens, and it does. Okay, great. I was hoping it wouldn't come out in this block right here. So I would also like to add some lava in this corner, and it appears that there is a lighting glitch here. That is fine, I guess. I don't really care what's new. 
what's new with the bugs? Anyway, so um, this one should be one block higher so that these uh, little side things of lava are different. Yeah, there we go. That looks that looks nice. It doesn't look super symmetrical, um, which is good. And I'm not sure what to do with, do with the ceiling, I guess. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure. I will figure that out here in a second. But anyway, I also changed up the front of the forge here. This is where like you would hammer on your sword or something. Just bam, 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 bam. Or I guess because we don't have hammers in Minecraft, we'll just use our fist. You know, you can punch trees. Why not punch a molten hot sword um, to forge it? it? Makes sense, right? Minecraft logic. Now the forge you really can't see anymore, um, especially when you back up because of all the uh, nether brick. It really just blends in. Hmm, I might have to change the box on the side here. All right, so I pretty much finished it up now. I know, big jump cut, but I figured I might as well actually get something done in between clips for once in this episode. So, let's start off. You come in, you got this little well, basically for just hell and death energy stuff from magma blocks. I don't know, lore, I'm not good at it. And then I also threw up some, uh, some just basic trashy diamond armor on the armor stands that we got. I mean, look at this one, curse of binding and vanishing. That's just, that's just amazing. And then we also got our first ever set of iron armor over here and a spare elytra. And I set up the chests, anvils and stuff. That's pretty basic. And then I kind of redid the forge over here, put some more fence posts, some cobblestone walls and basic, basic stuff. Another little, uh, cauldron there's an infinite water source right here which is nice and then this is kind of like a well thing and yeah that's pretty much all there is to this room apparently my dog is still in here that's nice okay now it works i know it's not my trigger i know it's the game being broken because okay now it's broken. you know what never mind dog you suck get out of here <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically it guys I'm um, sorry I know we didn't really get much done this episode not as much as we normally do um, that is my fault I really did not feel like recording yesterday and now I'm kind of a little bit pressed for time um, I should probably put my lighter back on so I'm not naked so one thing that I just remembered that I should say in the episode while editing is that um, I'm not gonna be beginning uh, like crafting all the pickaxes and enchanting and renaming until I have efficiency five for a villager trade. So I need to bring some villagers from the desert and get them in here and then re-roll them, basically trade with them if they don't have a good trade, extra file saving, uh, rinse and repeat until they get the trade that you want. That's how I've gotten all of these trades over here. And that's because we have a villager cap on console currently. So that's the current workaround for it. Um, anyway, I will show you guys what I got next episode because it takes a while to reroll them and Make sure you leave a comment down below so that you might be possibly the first ever person to get a tool or armor piece named after them Sounds cool, right? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the support on this series Thank you guys for the support on my channel. I know there hasn't been that many videos lately and sorry about no technical vi videos um, just getting the motivation um it's kind of difficult nowadays because of all the changes to Minecraft and then even on this version of Minecraft, Xbox One Edition, even trying to do technical things on here, every update, they get broken and that's not even a good sign because as soon as we switch to Better Together, the entire system is going to be changed and it's going to be even more broken. So I'm, yeah, I already talked to you guys about this later and now I'm just rambling. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Silent Survival. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you are new, turn on notifications if you are a subscriber, and maybe send help so that my dogs see it fixed. Anyway guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. And then there was silence.